President Vladimir Putin paid an unexpected visit to the Russian-occupied Ukrainian city of Mariupol, which has seen some of the worst destruction of his year-long invasion, a day after being accused of war crimes by the International Criminal Court. On Saturday night, Putin was shown in extensive footage touring the city, visiting rehoused citizens, and receiving an update on rehabilitation operations from Deputy Prime Minister Merit Kusnulin. Since much of the port city of Mariupol was reduced to ashes in the early stages of the conflict and eventually surrendered to Russian forces in May, it came to be known throughout the world as a symbol of death and destruction. In the bombing of a theater where families with children were taking cover, hundreds of people perished. Russia's early bombardment of a maternity hospital there was deemed a war crime by the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSC. Russia refuted it and has maintained that it does not target civilians since it invaded on February 24 last year. As the International Criminal Court issued a warrant for his arrest on Friday, accusing him of the war crime of deporting hundreds of children from Ukraine, Putin's visit had the air of a defiant show of force. His spokesman stated that the action was legally null and void and that Russia viewed the questions the ICC raised as outrageous and unacceptable. He has not publicly commented on the action. Since hostilities began, the trip to Mariupol marked Putin's first to the Russian-occupied areas of Ukraine's Donbass region and brought him the closest to the front lines yet. Despite leading Russia's special military operation in Ukraine, Putin has primarily stayed inside the Kremlin. It contrasts with Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky, who has made several excursions to the battlefield to raise the morale of his troops and discuss strategy. According to Kiev and its allies, the invasion was an imperialist territorial grab that caused thousands of deaths and millions of displaced people in Ukraine. The peace of heaven, Putin traveled through the night to Mariupol. State TV showed him traveling through the city with his deputy prime minister, Kusnulin, while receiving a comprehensive update on the reconstruction of homes, bridges, hospitals, transportation hubs, and a symphony center. According to state media, he went to a brand new residential neighborhood that the Russian military had developed and had seen its first residents move in last September. Are you a local? How about it? Putin was seen inquiring of the locals, a great deal. Now that we have this small corner of heaven, a woman responded, clapping her hands together and congratulating Putin for the triumph. Kusnulin informed Putin that residents have been actively returning. Before the conflict, Mariupol had a population of 500,000 and was home to one of Europe's major steel plants, Azovstal, where Ukrainian troops resisted for weeks in tunnels and bunkers before being forced to surrender. Downtown has suffered significant damage, according to Kusnulin. By the end of the year, we hope to have at least the facade portion of the center's renovation completed. The center is quite lovely. The Ukrainian administration responded to the visit later. Mariupol is in the Donetsk area, one of four primarily Russian-occupied parts of Ukraine that Putin tried to annex in September. The majority of nations at the United Nations General Assembly deem this action to be unconstitutional. After visiting Crimea on the ninth anniversary of Russia's seizure of the region from Ukraine, Putin flew there by helicopter. From Mariupol, he traveled to Rostov in southern Russia, where he met with Chief of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov, who is in charge of leading Russia's military campaign in Ukraine, as seen on official television on Sunday.